Chris, you're, a, you're an Indiana guy. Coach Alfred brought you out here from Indiana. How, how hard is this for you to see him uh, be let go at this point in the season? Um, you know, it's, it's definitely tough. You know, he recruited me, and uh, he was a big part of the reason I came out here. So, um, yeah, it's definitely tough to see him go, but, you know, I guess that's just how the business goes. When, when did you find out that this was happening? Uh, actually, I found out the next morning. Okay. You know, some people texted me, called me, and uh, told me that. So. What, uh, did you, you guys talked as a team, just the players? Kind of got together to talk about this? Uh, I mean, a little bit. We didn't, we didn't talk to talk about it too much, but I mean, we did talk about it a little bit. What, what was kind of the, the gist of what you guys were saying to each other? Uh, I mean, really, you just you got to keep playing hard. You got to fulfill his mission, his goal, his uh, you know, one team, one chance, you know, his one mission, his one mission goal. So, you know, we continue to do that and you know, just win. Do you guys feel any sense of responsibility for what happened? Uh, I mean, nah. You know, I think. You know, it's it just, it just how the game goes. Had the practice of film sessions felt a little bit different uh, since he left? No, well, no, I mean, think we, we continue to, to push forward. You know, um, of course, he's always he's going to be missed for the rest of the season. And, you know, but we, we got to continue to get better and, and keep working. Have you guys heard from him at all? Uh, you know, I, I think pretty a lot of people or everyone reached out to him and, and texted him. You know, I know I texted him. and. Uh, you know, he hit, me, he hit me back, so that was good. How do you seem to be holding up? Uh, you know, I, I didn't call him or anything. Okay. I, just, I just texted him, so I'm not really, not too sure. What do you think about um, playing for Coach Bartow the rest of the season? Uh, it'll, be, it'll be good. You know, he's a, he's a great coach as well. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue to get better. Is there any difference in how he runs practice? Uh, of course, you know, it's, it's definitely a little bit different. You know, different head coaches have different things that they, that they want to incorporate, but you know, overall, you know, he's a he's a great coach, and he'll he'll help us out. What are some of those differences? I mean, we just we run different drills. Uh, you know, he has a different different way he wants to do you know a lot of different things. So, I mean, you'll you'll start to see it on Thursday night. So, what was the feeling in the locker room after the loss to Liberty, the fourth in a row? Was was that the lowest it's been for you here? Uh, I mean, yeah, it was it was definitely tough. You know, it wasn't a it wasn't a loss we should have had on our record, but. Then again, you know, we gotta, you know, we have to learn after that and, you know, push forward into this conference play. And, you know, Thursday will be a big one for us. He had put some of the responsibility on you guys after the Cincinnati game about getting in the gym more. And then, you know, after the Liberty game, he had mentioned executing seventh grade fundamentals. Did that, was that hard to hear? Do you agree with what he was saying? Basically, kind of blaming you guys in a way for what was going on. I mean, yeah, I think definitely a lot of that was on us. You know, we, um, it was a lot of careless mistakes, like a lot of careless turnovers, and not pushing the ball forward. And you know, it was just uh, it was just one of those games. You know, we didn't hit a lot of shots, and you know, we didn't play great defense. So, you know, I think that was that was definitely a big part on us. Jalen Hans was talking earlier in the season about the Notre Dame game and how they started dropping four guys back after offensive positions to kind of prevent you guys from getting into transition, mm -hmm. having your best stuff. Um, and he talked about teams using that blueprint since. How much did that kind of lead to the? To the struggles after that kind of teams having tape on you and maybe employing that strategy. Uh, I mean, I, I take that as a lot of respect. You know, they have a, a great respect for our, our transition game. But you know, as far as that on the half court offense, we just have to learn to swing the ball and you know move without the ball. You know, I think the ball stuck with us a lot throughout the games that we lost, and you know, I think that was a big reason as to why we lost some of those games. But. You know, I think we've been working on it a lot now, and I, I think we should be good. What's it going to take to kind of turn things around and then reach the NCAA tournament? Win it all. I mean, we got to we got to win the Pac-12 championship. You know, we get to we got to win all these games, and then of course go to Vegas, and you know we have to win that. So, I mean, that's our that's our focus right now, game by game, and you know try to win everything we can. So when did you find out this had happened, and what was your reaction? Um, I found out Sunday night. Uh, through social media, and it was confirmed Monday morning. I would say I was surprised, um, shocked. Were you disappointed? Yeah, a little bit. You never want to see that happen to anyone. You know, it's, it's unfortunate, but that's the nature of the business. Have you corresponded with Coach Alford since then? Yeah, he spoke to us Monday morning, and I uh, spoke with him via text message. He, he spoke with you here? Yeah. Okay, was that kind of an emotional thing, time? Uh, yeah, you know, he was just um, saying goodbye to the team, so, yeah.
After the loss at home, um, second straight home loss, and to lose in that way, what was kind of the, was that the, your low point here? Do you think as a player? Um, possibly it could have been, um, but it's just another it's just another game, and we had plenty more to play. So, you know, the Pac-12 is wide open, and we think we have a good shot at doing some things if we continue to work hard. Have you noticed a difference in practice or film sessions? Uh, with the kind of the vibe of the guys right now. Um, we have an optimistic vibe, you know, everybody, everybody is aware that we're still a talented basketball team. And like I said, the Pac-12 is wide open. So we just continue to work hard and we can do some things. You guys have lost four in a row. What's it going to take to kind of get back on a winning streak and turn it around? Um, just lock in, you know, once we get that first one, that first W, which hoping to be Thursday. We should be able to go on a roll. What kind of coach is Coach Bartow? Uh, coach Bartow, I think he's a pretty good coach. You know, he's been a head coach before. So, I mean, him and Coach Alfred have obviously different philosophies because they're both two different people. But I think so far he's been a good coach. Have you noticed any stylistic differences in practice about the way you guys are playing? Um, yeah, a little bit. Um, they're obviously, like I said, two different people, so they have their own philosophies. Well, what kind of change would you say? Um, the length in practice, um, just different drills. Uh, he's inserted some things that he's like, uh, as far as like offensively and defensively. So those kind of things. He's known as a tireless worker. Have you seen that from him, that he just kind of works nonstop? Yeah, yeah, Coach Bartow, he works, he works all day. He's around my Austin all day. Um, he has a notepad. Nobody knows what he writes on it, but <laughs> probably about 100 pages. <laughs> so, yeah, um, he's a tireless worker. I'll give him that. He works hard. How much do you think the three previous games affected your, your output in the Liberty game as a team because you may be feeling more pressure having lost three in a row or maybe have lost confidence? Like, What, what do you think went into the Liberty loss? Um, I don't. I don't think we felt pressure. I don't think anyone has lost confidence. Um, it was just they, they, credit to Liberty. They played well. Um, should we have beaten them? I think so. But they played well. They played a good game, and we didn't play very well. So that was it. Coach had put some of the blame on you guys after the Cincinnati game. Said get in the gym more, and then after the Liberty game, said you guys needed to execute seventh grade stuff with fundamentals. How did that feel hearing that kind of those kinds of comments? Um, I mean, we weren't, I mean, he was right in a sense. I mean, some of us did need to get back in the gym. I mean, there were things we were doing out there that were uncharacteristic, in my opinion. So, I mean, I think he was right in a sense. I mean, everybody needs to get in the gym. But did it, did it feel like he was blaming you guys for the team shortcomings? No, I didn't feel like he was blaming us. What do you think the biggest challenge is moving forward? Um, the Pac-12. I mean, new season starts tomorrow, so we're focused on going in there and trying to win the Pac-12. Do you think changing coaches could, in a sense, kind of give you guys a fresh start? I mean, yeah. Um, it's, like I said, it's a fresh face. Not a fresh face, but it's a fresh face in charge. So, I mean, different philosophies. Um, maybe a different offense, different defense, so it could. You've been around this program for a while. How hard do you think this is for Corey Alford to stay around with his dad? Being like, oh, have you talked to him at all? Yeah, I've spoken to Corey Alford. He's a professional. Um, I think it's hard. Like I said, it's unfortunate, but he's a professional, so he'll be able to get through this.